A very good morning to all. Today, let's discuss about the types of simple machines. So, which are the different types of simple machines? Inclined plane, screw, wedge, wheel and axle, pulley and lever. So, we have already discussed the first two simple machines that is inclined plane and screw. Let's discuss the next two types of simple machine that is wedge and wheel and axle. So, starting with wedge. So, what is a wedge? Wedge, it is an inclined plane. So, wedge made up of two inclined planes. Then, these planes meet and form a sharp edge. So, wedge, it is made up of two inclined planes and they meet and they form a sharp edge. You can see the two inclined planes meet together and they form a sharp edge and that is the wedge. So, wedge is an inclined plane. So, they meet together, two inclined planes meet together and they form a sharp edge. So, that is the wedge. Now, let's see some examples for wedge. Knife, axe, needle, all these are examples for wedge, which has slanting sides with sharp edges. So, all these are examples for wedges, which have slanting sides with sharp edges. Now, let's see how do wedges work. So, this axe, it is an example for a wedge. The blade of an axe is an example for a wedge. We use the axe for splitting wood. So, when an axe is used to split wood, the axe handle, so this is the axe handle. So, this axe handle, it exerts a force on the blade of the axe. And the blade of the axe is the wedge, which has slanting sides with sharp edges. So, that force, it pushes the wedge down into the wood. And the wedge in turn, it exerts an output force at 90 degree angle to its slope. And then it splits the wood. So, this is how the wedge works. So, wedge is, it is the oldest tool that is used by human beings. So, wedge means two inclined planes joined together to form a wedge. And it has slanting sides with sharp edges. And we discussed about the examples. Knife, needle, Axe, all these are examples for wedges, which has slanting sides with sharp edges. Moving on to the next type of simple machine, that is wheel and axle. So, you all have seen wheels, right? We use wheel in lots of things, that is in cars, buses and other vehicles. So, what is wheel and axle? So, it is a wheel attached to an axle. Axle is a road that goes through the center of the wheel which lets the wheel run. Here you can see the wheel and axle picture. So, this middle center one you can see the axle that is the road and you can see the wheel here. So, the wheel is attached to this axle or the road. So, this two wheel is attached to the road. So, if we turn the wheel, the axle also turns. So, if we turn the wheel, the axle also turns. So, without an axle, the wheel cannot be used as a machine. So, the wheel with a road attached to it is called as the wheel and axle arrangement. An axle means it is a road that goes through the center of the wheel which lets the wheel run. So, without an axle, the wheel cannot be used as a machine. Now, let's see some examples for wheel and axle. That is steering of a car, handle of a door, knob of a tap. All these are examples for wheel and axle. So, we know that wheels are attached to the axle. 
that move and carry loads with less effort. So without an axle, the wheel cannot be used as a machine. So the wheels fixed to an axle, it carries loads with less effort. So the wheel and axle, it can be used for moving heavy objects and to set things in motion. So that is about the type of simple machine that is wheel and axle. Today we discussed about the two types of simple machines that is the wedge and wheel and axle. So in the next class, we'll discuss the next types of simple machines. So we'll meet in the next class. Till then, thank you.